All right, guys. Good morning. <laughs> um, it is the Ducking here, back on the video. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about uh, text boxes. Yes. So, how do you use these? Well, let me go ahead and explain them. So, if you guys don't know uh, what text boxes are, I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to make one. So, uh, welcome back to the GUI series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Um, I know you know we, this is we're new to GUI so if you guys this, if this is your first video by GUI's you've watched me you may want to watch my first episode and then go through them all that way you understand GUI's completely because I'm not going to be explaining the super basic stuff but in this video specifically I'm going to be explaining text boxes okay so first things first let's go ahead and insert a screen GUI into our starter GUI obviously okay and then we're going to go ahead and insert a text box into our starter GUI wait a minute Okay, we're good. Okay, yeah, text box, all right? And um, basically what a text box is, as you can probably just see, um, by default, it has this little text right here called text box, but if you move it, you can see I have a little cursor. Like, uh, let me actually make it a little bit bigger, maybe. Okay, I'll make it kind of big, and then I'm gonna scale the text up just for now. Um, actually, I'll make it like, just 25 okay I'm just changing the text size but basically as you can see I have my cursor blinking right here and now what this means is you can type in here so if you ever use like a search bar on Google or <laughs> if you ever put text inside of a nice GUI this is what they use right they use that's what they call it. they use text boxes alright so for example if you wanted to make a game and you wanted to have a search bar to hop you'd want you know like to do search you know and then you could click on it and then you know search whatever you want and then obviously you have your stuff down here popping up in your search right so that makes sense um, so yeah that's what text boxes are now I'm gonna go ahead and explain a few properties of them and also a few things like how they work and um, some of the events and stuff like that so yeah okay um, what we're gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and show you the um, a few properties that you should know okay so first things first one property um, clear text on focus as you can see right here there's, there's a property called clear text on focus and now what this means is uh, whenever you type in the box okay so like for example if I go ahead and type uh, hey guys welcome back to another video I right, type that and then I click off of it and then I click or focus on it again that's what it calls it I call it focusing it's gonna clear text so obviously that's what it means clear text on focus pretty simple um, also another good thing to know cursor position so if you type actually you can see right here in, the, in my properties bar um, my cursor position is gonna be changing now why is because as you can see my cursor position is changing because my cursor position is changing <laughs> and basically it's pretty cool because you can know where your cursor is and you can figure that out which is pretty useful to know I'd say right um, and then let's say you wanted to make it so you could oh crap I just deleted it um, let's say you wanted to make it actually I'm gonna uncheck clear text on focus because it's kind of annoying but all right let's say for example you wanted to make it um, sorry um, you wanted to be able to add new lines to your thing right because right now if I had to enter it actually just um, goes back to the start and, and gets off of this but if you wanted to make it a multi-line um, a multi-line like text box you just check the multi-line property make it a true and then you can make multiple lines right so very cool um, and then you can keep making them and then eventually they're going off the screen you can see uh, or they're off they're off the side of the GUI but if you scroll down you can see them yeah but anyways and also it's like a regular you know like text box you can literally press control a and hit delete and it deletes it all so it's like using you can even like copy the stuff right you can select it press control c copy right it, it's like a regular text box so that's pretty cool um so yeah that's what multi-line does it adds multiple lines obviously and then um selection start is where it, where it starts at right so for example if i put that at three uh, as you can see well it goes to one by default but a negative one. Oh yeah also so that at the start as you can see, if I have nothing here, and I put my cursor, it starts at negative one, okay, but when it's not selected. Um, but if it's selected, it'll start at one, right? So, does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, but actually, yeah, yeah, okay, it starts, it starts at one, okay. So, when you select it, it starts at one, and um, if it's not selected, it'll probably be at negative one. So, as you can see, the cursor position is changing. And that's the cursor position I'm talking about. Um, that's the cursor position, which I'm talking about. So yeah. Anyway, another cool thing, uh, as you can see right here, there's something called a um, a placeholder text, and basically what that means is, um, as you can probably already guess, <laughs> it's placeholder text. So for example, I just put like 
type here, right? As you can see now, that's there. So if I type in here, it'll it'll get rid of that once I actually start typing because it's just like placeholder text. So that's useful. Like sometimes you want to put, you know, search, um, and then or not search. I don't I don't know what you'd put, but you get what I'm saying, right? Um, maybe search. But yeah, and then you can change the color of that text if you want to. Right now, it's like a pretty grayed out gray. You can make it a little bit less grayed out, maybe a little darker. That's pretty cool. Uh, change the font of your grayed out text, which is, oh no, actually that changes the font for everything, but yeah. Okay, and um, it has obviously the regular text label properties and text button properties. So yeah, you guys know how to use those though. And yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the scripts and show you some um, some properties there or some events. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and insert a local script into our text box right here. And I'm going to go ahead and get our text box, which is equal to our script.parent. Um, also, let me open this. looks a lot nicer. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, so... What else should I show you? Obviously, some of the events. Let me look. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So one good event is obviously um like to check if it's uh focused. So what that means is basically uh, whenever the player gets in the text box, it'll print out something. So or it'll fire that event. So if you go into your text box and then use focused, and honestly, I probably don't even need to explain this. You probably already understand it. Oh, text box not focused. Connect function. There we go. As you can see in here, if I go ahead and print player opened the text box, as you can see, whenever I run my game and actually just click on the text box, it's going to print that for me. So let me show you what I mean. And as you can see, player opened the text box. Now, the reason why it's printing it a million times, that's Roblox's end. But yeah. Anyways, as you can see, that that's pretty cool. It tells you when the player opens the text box. So yeah, and then also there's an event called um, focus ended, which I mean focus lost, which I'm sure I'm sure you can understand what that means. It just means that they clicked off of it. So I'm not gonna show you guys that one. Just, I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> but yeah, text box dot focus lost is like when it goes off of it. Makes sense. Um, um yeah and then you have an event for mobile which returns the pressed from on screen keyboard i don't think that's gonna do anything um let's see turn you see this long thing right here there's not even okay register the function to call each time when event is triggered wait what I don't know, that's what's saying connections. Okay. So there's not even like actual documentation on this on the wiki for some reason, but uh, let's go ahead and see if that works. Print text. I don't know why I did print print text. I'm a s no. That that makes no sense. It. Okay. Yeah. No. I that, that this thing is broken. So do not use the event. It, I don't think it actually works. But yeah. Yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing on it. I don't know. Anyways, that's what that does. But nothing. It seems like. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's pretty much that. And. That's pretty much text boxes. Also, I I'm, I'm realized I need to make a tutorial on like how to show you guys how to make their GUIs mobile. So I'll definitely do that as well. Um, so yeah. So basically, you have things like text box dot touch tap. So if the player tapped on it, and now you normally use that for things like buttons or labels or anything like that. But it's a it's a, it's a, it's inherited from GUI objects. So any GUI object has the touch tap and stuff like that. Also, all GUI objects also have things like um, mouse enter and mouse wheel back forward, mouse moved, right? That these are all things that every GUI object has so you can know when the mouse entered. Because sometimes people make really cool effects where like basically, you know, they'll have things where like there's like a GUI and then you hover over it and it changes a little bit to like maybe there's like a drop shadows added to it. It looks pretty nice whenever it's in games. Um, whenever I do like a series on how to make a complete game from scratch, which I will do, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited for that. Um, then I'll explain. Oh, you know, we'll make cool stuff like that. Um, but yeah. All right. Anyways, that's pretty much text boxes, I guess. There's not really much left to say about it. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cool, and it's how you get input, um, specifically text from a player. So um, yeah, definitely you're gonna be using these eventually. So yeah. And also, just to keep in mind too, there's things like, 
like actually no i'll go over that next tutorial okay next tutorial will be image buttons and image labels so yeah get hyped for that and um, you can probably assume what they are but i'll explain exactly how to use them so yeah all right guys that's it i'll see you in the next one it's been the dev king peace